Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ardit, a community engineer at NATAN, and today with me here is Chris Bates. Chris Bates works as a developer at Keytech Solutions and we want to take some notes from him on why he migrated from Mate to NATAN. So Chris, if you could give a quick introduction to yourself and then we can start with a couple of questions. So uh, I'm a, a developer at Keytech Solutions. Um, I've been working there for about seven or eight months. And um, we feel like that we've sort of expanded a lot um, very quickly, and NA10 seemed like the right solution for us, um, especially after trying Make and both Zapier beforehand. Awesome. So if I may ask, what was the, the reason that uh, you went to Make in the first place? Uh, originally, we started with Zapier, and we had some sort of simple okay. integrations, um, but they didn't give us the, the full functionality that we wanted. So. Um, we then went to make uh, or Integramat at the time, and um, it, we found that it allowed us to group everything together a lot easier. So we had scenarios where, um, because we do a lot of stuff with schools, if a new teacher started, we'd need to create a um, uh, an account for them across multiple systems, and it was something that we were doing manually. So we then looked at these sorts of things and found that we could do that um, automatically. Um, which sort of made our life a lot easier. We didn't have to be sitting, creating all these new accounts and everything. So what was missing in Make that kind of made you realize that, okay, I think we need to change our platform and use another one? And so initially it was cost. Um, the, the price increase from when they changed from Integromat to Make um, was quite drastic. Um, but also, we after doing a lot of research into NA10, we realized that it had a lot of additional functionality that make just didn't have um, being able to create your own nodes and um it was more in my opinion it's more of a, a programming mindset to create a scenario for na10 whereas integramat i just couldn't get my head around so i was struggling to make scenarios there whereas na10 i, I found it a hell of a lot easier awesome so when you first started using na10 what was your impression of it did you find it hard to use it or easy to use or like just like your general Im first impressions after you you downloaded the the product our first impression was done through uh we we hired somebody to sort of talk us through na10 um because we knew that the change was going to be massive um and he did a lot of research uh well, he's been doing a lot of research for ages um and he we had a three hour sit down and he showed us each node, how it would be used, and how we could then start creating scenarios using these things. And I think that's quite a powerful way of being introduced to NA10 um, because it made everything make so much more sense. Um, I could see that if you just sort of sat down, things may be confusing if you haven't got that programming mindset of how to do different statements and things. But um, Having that one person who knows it all already is definitely helpful. But as soon as he showed us like one or two notes, I instantly saw how this is going to completely change our company um, and how it's going to be. We just need to move everything over to NA10. Um, it's it's obvious. Currently, are you self-hosting NA10 or are you using the cloud version? Uh, we are self-hosting. Um, so we contracted ram uh to set up and manage our server so he has set us up with work environments and he's got everything all set up for us so he created us logins all we had to do was then log in and just start working which is yeah it was really good nice let's say we were we were to compare the time that it took to create a workflow in make and compare it to na10 in your in your experience with na10 until now does it take more time to build a workflow in NA10 rather than in Make, Integromat? No. Personally, I felt Integromat took longer. Um, it, the main difference was that, like, learning that you, you don't, in Integromat or Make, you don't loop through every single um, response from the, the node instantly. You have to put in an iterator for it to do that. And that's not how I was thinking, which then meant I had to sort of go, okay, no, I need to add in this to be able to do that. And then filters were in between stuff. And NA10, I don't know, it, it, it clicked. It was just, 
it was super easy for me to be able to make a, a scenario. Awesome. Yeah. So now not comparing to make, but just any time only, let's say you have a scenario you want to build after you figure out all the logic and everything. Would you be able, for example, to create that kind of workflow within a day or how long would it take to create a workflow? Let's say it's not too complex. Let's say it's like a medium complexity workflow and you have all the logic figured out what you want to do. Would, would that take a lot of time to build in any time? No, I think it's taken me about, actually, yeah, it's taken me about a day to do one scenario, I'd say. It's, it's pretty quick, to be honest, yeah. but... Um, I am currently struggling with one of them with my, my most recent scenario that I'm making. Um, so that one has taken me a little bit longer, but I think that's due to um, not planning fully before starting the scenario. So that's really good to hear like a workflow per day. That's in, I mean, in my own pers personal opinion, that's quite quick to, to create a workflow. So if you could share this information with us, do you, how many, active workflows do you have like are you using lots of workflow at the moment currently we only have three um within n810 um but we do have still because we're still in the process of migrating i think we have about 17 or 20 odd that are still in make that we're looking to migrate over so if you let's say hypothetically we're in a meeting someone that's actually using make and they are a developer as well like, would you suggest any time to them to make this transition from Make to any time as a platform for automation? And if so, what would be your reasons for them to make this change? I, I definitely recommend it. There is, if they're a developer, then yes, I definitely recommend it. There's so much more you can do with NA10 than you can with Integromat. If something, because Integromat and Make, there were certain nodes that didn't exist. You'd have to sit and put in a customer support saying, hey, I'd really like this node to exist. Yeah. And then you'd have to wait for them to exist. If you've got the, the capabilities, you can make it yourself. You don't have to wait. Um, and then you can share it with the community. And then if there's other uh, NA10 developers that are also in that same position, then they can use your node and then it becomes a full community effort and you're not sitting yeah. around waiting on make. Um, but also, if it's something simple, I had lots of issues with um, particular statements within uh, Make. And having the function node within NA10, it just opens up the possibilities to do anything you want. Um, you could write a whole scenario in a function node if you wanted to, but um, at that point, you're just programming and you might as well do it somewhere else. But the capability is there. If there's something you want to do, you can do it it's the way that we've seen it so far we haven't hit any walls we haven't hit any issues so far so yeah it, it's just incredibly powerful what do you find easier to do in na10 so we have a lot of situations where we need to compare um a variable to multiple things um so say we have a an id of like a project or something um and we need to compare it to multiple actions that could be within that project. We would need to, we get the project ID and then we retrieve all of the actions that might not even be for that project. And you'd need to then compare the project ID to all those actions and select the certain ones that you'd want. It sounds like a simple thing to do in JavaScript. In Make and Integromat, it was a struggle, or I found it was a struggle because you would need an iterator, then you'd need a filter, and then you'd need an aggregator. And there's three things just to do one task. Um, whereas with NA10, I've done it in one function node, and it does the job that I need it to do. There might even be a node that I haven't seen already built into NA10. If there's, what would say you're like so far is, what's your favorite node that NA10 that you kind of use the most or you want to every time you see that you're going to use this not like oh yes i love this now it's, it's the ones that we that bram has made for us is the ones that we use the most um awesome. yeah so so bram has made us two nodes um because they didn't exist within na10 i believe he shared them with the community as well so they should be accessible for everybody um but they are so we use NAC for a lot of our databases and there wasn't a NAC node within na10 um, so Bram has made that for us, and now we can use that. 
to retrieve data from our NAC databases. He's made another one that I haven't used yet. Um, but I think the, the capability to make your own is also very powerful. But I have used the, the split into batches. That seems quite powerful. And being able to set with the set node um, a global variable for the whole of the scenario, I think I've used that in all of my scenarios now that I think about it. So far that you've used NA10, what, what are your main likes and dislikes about the, about the product itself? So the, the forums and the community feel that you get from NA10, uh, um, you, you can feel it straight away. You know mm -hmm. that if you have an issue, the support is going to be there. Like if you have a question, you know that you can post it in the forum and somebody will reply. Um, whereas I've had posts in forums sit for multiple months and not had a reply and I've had to find something out myself. So I think that is really good. Um, being able to add the notes, the sticky notes, and the mm -hmm. comments onto your um, your workflow, yeah. incredible. Um, I've come back from holiday a couple of weeks ago, and I had a scenario that I'd written, and I had to look at it and go, no, I know exactly what's going on there, because I left good enough notes that I didn't have to sit and go, okay, how does this work? Um, so yeah, it was that's very good. Yeah. I haven't got any dislikes really yet, um, I haven't really played with it enough, I don't think. Hope you don't have any. <laughs> Me too, because yeah, I'm really enjoying. It. No, I, I, yeah, I really hope I don't have dislikes because I've been really enjoying using it. Nathan, one, one more question about this, like documentation-wise, for example, if you let's say you import a new node that you have not used yet, like you want to know more about this, like you have this option to go to the documentation of it. Do you find that documentation helpful? Yeah, or I think it is useful to have the option to instantly click to it so as as a last question uh i would like to ask like to what kind of people or companies that are looking to automate stuff would you present na10 would you like recommend na10 to right now i think i'd recommend it to somebody with some programming knowledge um just because of the expressions and how a scenario can be laid out um even if you have no programming knowledge, I think you could still use NA10. It is that powerful. Um, it just may be quite daunting at first because it will look like quite a steep learning curve. In particular, I know that there's a lot of people who use NAC that um, have posted a lot of questions in the NAC forums of, I've been looking at NA10, is it worth it? Um, or... I've been using Make or Integromat and it's not doing this. Is there any other solution? To them, I'd say definitely give NA10 a try if you haven't already. Um, I feel like it would solve most of your problems. And if you are struggling with Integromat and Make, NA10, I think, is your solution. Because if you are using it as much as we were, then you'll definitely see the benefit. <laughs> I'm going to keep coming back to it. If you had the expression builder, yeah. I'd recommend it to everybody under the sun um, that wants to do some sort of automation within your business. It's that powerful that I think it could change your business. Would you ever consider going into the cloud version or would you like to stick to the self-hosting one? I think we'd always want to stay with the self-hosting um, because it um, it gives us more control. And I feel like that was something that we, we, we all felt like we were missing that with make sometimes the servers would slow or um we kept getting um messages saying that our scenario stopped working um and we wouldn't know why so i think having the self hosting option and knowing everything that we know currently it gives us more control thank you very much chris uh, i really enjoyed this interview thank you for your time and I really hope you have lots of fun with any time. And I hope you do not find anything that you dislike. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to be quite active on the forums. So you might see our names pop up quite quickly. Yeah. Would, would love to address any of the issues you, you have at your company. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. No Thank you.